Hi guys, we've been talking about little information that I had about the nuggies and the parasites and all this stuff. And, and so I got a comment from one great channel. Uh, how do you spell it? Actually, what, your, channel, your channel name. I'm, I'm Modwiz125. Modwiz125, yeah, right. And your name is Radagos, right? Correct. Yeah, my, my secret name was also rather Gust. So, I mean, we spell it a little bit different, but I think it's the same roots. Um, it's some type of uh, druid's name, but actually it means the uh, the guests that are welcome onto a house. So, mm -hmm. and it also was, you know, in a druid, very famous. For, for some druids had this name uh, in Britain, as I was reading in Celtic uh, fairy legends fairy tales whatever so uh what do you what do you take on nagis so what do you think they're uh good or, or, or were they evil well I, again there's the concept and then there might be what is i mean if there was actual serpent beings i don't know where to put them but again you know there i do know once again the ancient people held the serpent as a symbol of the ancient knowledge um, the knowledge that it was that actually built built civilization, you know, uh, the original civilization, uh, and I and this the kind of civilization that we see its last stand in what we're now calling Tartaria. I like to call them the old culture, and I spell old O L D E, but um, since we're all using Tartarian, we'll stay with that. And um, and also I think there is a um, there is something to be pulled from the Aryan part, but not as a a race, but as a the nobles. And again, everything has been you know in the modern world, everything has been flipped. At one time, what what made someone noble was noble behavior, not acting like a noble, being noble. So what we see that what we can see with this diffusion of this culture all over the the you know the earth is that they spread and they spread not only not they shared like the whole thing is if you get an abundance of something then to be noble would be to share and not to hoard yeah because we call nobles we, we call bagati is like not the one who is rich but who want and the one who can give the people right and not even care so it's like different meaning of the world and noble is like being uh, generous to the others first of all helping them promoting them and stuff like this so it's like the the, the origin meaning of nobility is an honor and generosity right yes and you know and the structure the structuring or the organization of the quote caste systems and they work but that was just to organize people and they weren't the now that now they're you know if you're born into a caste you're stuck there the caste was simply where you could operate at your best efficiency yeah what, what, do, you, what do you take on uh, what do you take on um, the lowest caste why it, was it like you know led to be uh, so low I mean they couldn't because they were certain when, when they moved into certain areas I mean again this is about the cognitive ability so the people least cognitive were at the lower caste but uh, once again anybody in the low in the in the original system if let, let's say somebody was born into the lowest caste which is now called the untouchables there's another there's I forget what the original Sanskrit name is but in the original thing if you were born into that caste and showed the capability to be in another caste, you would be there. In other words, those castes were about your ability, not your heredity. So, which so is, this is what, where uh, the connection comes in first, what I was thinking. Uh, we have this prison system in Russia, and it's very tightly connected to the Matvat, is what I think, because all these castes in prison that we have, um, you know, they certainly connected. Uh, to what I've been talking about before so it's like and we have uh, the um, how do you call the male uh, chicken uh, the rooster 
rooster, right? So we have a rooster in negative, very negative cast. Uh, in they are totally like untouchable, and also they have tattoos with uh, some different symbolism, which is not really nice to mention right now. But they are like you know um, homosexually abused persons, and they like do all the dirty job in in a, in a prison. And they also connect it to uh, reptilians, because if you have a tattoo of a reptilian, they call it the same as a rooster uh, or a dinosaur, the same as a rooster, because it has the same, uh, you know, type of thing on, on its head, but only um, through the whole length of the body. So it's like they is simply trolling those people. If you if you get lucky and you go to Russian prison, and you have this tattoo, you probably go to the rooster cast so the rooster cast is the untouchable cast and you know what i was wanted to show you today is like um this connection let me just you know show you this picture this is the ancient uh abra abra you know the emblem of uh abraxas yes abraxas yes in some uh it's also uh, in some uh, emblems he is also connected to uh, this rooster head and the snakes here mm -hmm. so they call it in positive way uh, they call it um uh because he was like a, a morning bird which is like waking people up it's like connection to the sun you know this um several thing because several uh, has the lion head like we have here uh, also lions here and here also a lion with the snake uh body and also the uh, sun here so it's like all this connection through uh, through the branding of ancient times uh, gave me this you know connection to the rooster class because it was uh, originally branded as a negative a very untouchable cast in the prisons so like let me just finish this for for now because it's we, what do you take on this what have you heard something about rooster in a negative um in a negative uh, sense um not particularly um no i have not heard of um the of the rooster in a negative sense so well actually that whole that little abraxas um also known as the god above god um is also tied in with the gnostic concept of the demiurge and yeah. the demiurge is what they refer to as the uh, biblical Yahweh. Or the Saov in Christianity, in Orthodox Christianity, they call him Savaov. Oh, right. Yes. Yes. He has, a, you know, like most of them, they have multiple names. Yes. Greeks called him Savaov, uh, Jews called him Jeho uh, Jehovah and Yahweh, and uh, Catholics don't call him any name at all. So that's yeah. God, Father God or whatever. So uh, what do you take? So it's rooster is just, you know, this ancient symbolism doesn't mean anything, right? Except that uh, it's like... Uh, well, it's, again, it's, to me, well, we got to look at the word, f that another word for a rooster that also applies to any male bird, which is cock. Cock, yes, cock. Okay, now, as we all know, in English, cock is a slang word for penis yep um so for me there's a certain amount of again you know when you look at, at yahweh's claims about who it is he's kind of like the cock of the of you know he's trying to play cock and um and you know and protecting his his you know his his brood um I mean, have you, have you ever encountered a rooster? I mean, <laughs> they're they're ornery birds, man. Yeah, and I think uh, I've seen a couple of in the villages, but uh, I don't see them like being aggressive. But oh, I've had to kick they, them. I've had to kick them away from me. I mean, I've I've actually gotten into fights with them. I had a bad experience with geese. They they are like very nasty. Geese are very attacking. <laughs> like they have so huge wings and stuff like that. so it's like uh, i mean uh the rooster is uh, protecting the chickens supposed to be protecting the chickens but 
why is he so negative in uh, in the context that we have why do you think it is um i d i really can't i don't i'm not coming up with an answer so i'm not going to fake it so uh have you have you seen the uh emblem of france which one the fleur de lis uh not the actual emblem with they they use rooster also on their emblems mm. and uh fr france is very like uh, using roosters and uh who else who else are using roosters uh, and yes it's connected to fleur de lis because france uh also holy roman empire and britain is the same family of monarchs which is oldenburg dynasty so-called oldenburg dynasty it's holy roman empire uh frederick uh, leopold and all those guys they look like huge big family also russian emperors were from this family austrian emperors were from this family spanish emperors yeah. And so, like, they have all this symbolism also in in their emblems. So it's like lions, also birds, like eagles and crows and roosters on France. So it's like all connected because holes is like the supposed to be the origin uh, tribes of France. Like, uh, you know, have you heard about holes? No. Hollis, Hollis h-a-l-l-e-s okay no that's a new one for me it's like hellas the same as um hell like the Greeks. Like uh, the Greek? and the hellas from greek yes it comes from the hora hora ra it's like whore or gore from egypt the god of uh uh sun oh, horse. Uh -huh. yeah um, horus was the avenger yeah and he, he had also the bird on his mask mm -hmm. can you see it yeah so Hellas, Hellas, also the greekest name from the horror ra uh ra is russia uh, and uh, ra is uh, the river volga and it's uh, the place where uh, right now russians are finding tartaria in russia the region of russia so it's like also connected to this um what else what else what else um uh, so it's like Abra Sachs is he, they connect them to whore because um mm -hmm. so that makes sense. Symbolism, symbolism is the same because he has the bird and this, he has the bird so it's like and uh this is old old stuff as you can see these emblems mm -hmm. are connected and also we see on the reverse we see abrasex sava of so like this is the connection to uh to yahweh mm -hmm. well even one of the things i got is you know one of the saba off is sabbath saturn they all tie together um the interesting thing is when the pictures that they show of saturn you know for whatever reason they show like what looks like um a hexagon at, at the northern pole of it, why they, you know, again, who knows what we're looking at. But uh, a hexagon is a cube looked at from a certain perspective. If yeah, you take yeah, a cube yeah. and spin, you'll get a hexagon. And you can so again, a cross also. From so what do we have in a cube? We have six right angles. Yep. Um, and so, so and, and, another, and another name for that is L and that's why the current people we have are the elites yeah. and but we now Elo, call them elohim. elohim also don't forget about but that. also but the new version of elites is elites yep so they're you know they're kind and that's and if you notice once we once we go to modern building everything is right angles and basically just cubes and guess what the in the name of the city uh, the jerusalem is at it's called Easter. Called what? Easter. Uh, you're, I'm not sure. I'm. Could you spell that for me, Philip? Like Easter, like the oh. like the Easter holiday is the Easter. Oh, interesting. The interesting. Of, the name, name of the city where this Jerusalem monastery is located, and the Easter is also the the top goddess of uh, Western uh, pagan world. And Ishtar. 
Easter, and it's it's like in every in every language. So it's like this is all connected. I mean, this ancient pagan cult, uh, cult was uh, perpetrated by this snake uh, uh, rooster symbolism and also lion heads in plenty of versions of it. So it's like I think this is where we lost our um, original meanings of symbolism. It's like 30 years ago, you would go to the madhouse just for saying these stupid th things like uh, I'll be in the forest, you call me, right? So it's like 30 years ago, no way you could be in the forest and somebody could call you. So probably if you say this, people would think you're crazy. So it's like, um, like uh, send me money on my phone. Also, 30 years ago, it would be stupid to say this, right? Because who would send you money on your phone? Or well, I forgot my phone at home, right? Also stupid mm -hmm. to say 30 years ago. So it's like, what? while I was driving, I, I was listening to my book. Also, very stupid to say. I mean, we lost our, uh, our meanings, our definitions, and our um, original um, paradigm. That's why we looking at the symbolism and thinking about uh, something uh, quite opposite to what it meant. That's the whole point. Inversion is the whole point of the controllers. Yep. And well, let's you know, like when we look at something like you know, when we're looking at some of the Tartarian buildings, and we see you know these that these huge, huge complexes were turned into prisons and insane asylums. And people are going, gee, didn't anybody notice at the time that th that that these people were lying and making claims that that weren't true? I bet you thousands of people did. And if you did it peacefully, you went to an insane asylum. If you got violent, they put you in prison. Yeah. And that's why, to me, and when you see the sizes of these places, you realize they could house an enormous amount of people. And so all you have to do is start putting those people away and little by little, the less brave people who know that they're being lied to, that is a whole, they're sitting there in the middle of the reset as far as the psychological and, and what passes as truth. The ones who stood up got, you know, like again, if they just kept sh stopping and they didn't get violent, they get put in an insane asylum. If they got violent, they get put in prison.